In 2013, we had just had a baby when we moved to another country. Needless to say, our social lives evaporated overnight and we found ourselves surrounded by piles of empty boxes. So we decided to get creative. I'm Leon Mackey. I'm Lily Mackey. We're from Wellington, New Zealand. We recreate iconic movie scenes with our son Orson, using stuff we find around the house. This, this is, is our flicker moment. moment. After about six months of a lot of Saturday nights at home and having no babysitters, we started to get a bit bored. We decided to do a family photo in the style of The Life Aquatic. Because new parents were quite sleep deprived and the expressions on their faces kind of summed up how we looked every day. We put it up online for friends and family to look at and they loved it and asked us to do more movies. So we kept doing a movie every weekend. After a few months, one of our friends put up a link to the blog of Laughing Squid, and after that, it just blew up. Over the course of about three days, we got about 30,000 followers on Facebook, and we were on every major news network, it seemed, around the world. To date, we've done around 70 film recreations. The way we choose a film is that it generally is a movie that we grew up on from the 80s or 90s. The process of shooting really begins on a Saturday around lunchtime when we finally decide what movie we're going to do. And then it's going on a hunt around the house to find what props we're going to need and a race down to a second-hand store or the supermarket to buy some more duct tape or perhaps a costume. The most we probably spend might be $30. The sets can take up to five hours sometimes, depending on how big they are. And we aim to shoot just before Orson goes to bed at about 8 p.m. Orson definitely gets more involved now with the photos than he did when he was younger. He loved the clock tower and Back to the Future. Whenever we build a big car, he really gets into it and he loved the helicopter from MASH. The teddy bear that you see in the photos is called Gundy. He was the first soft toy Orson ever had. People now look out for him, and if we don't include Gundy in a photo, we will get a lot of comments asking where he is. We've actually got two of them. <laughs> and I think the first time both of them featured was for The Shining, when they played the twins. Some of our favourite responses that we've got have been emails from people that have said that it just really brings a smile to their face. The media attention is great, but it's just those simple messages that really make it worthwhile. We've found doing these photos that we've created, by chance, a tradition for our family. Even if we don't continue doing it every weekend for the rest of our lives, it's our tradition now and it's going to be awesome to look back on.